Hi everyone, it's Margaret here with 60 and Me. A beautiful sunny day and I'm going to take you on a journey with me. People have been asking me for the last eight years, what makeup do you use? What are your favorites? And I'm going to take you into my bathroom, into the place that I apply my makeup, where I store it. And hopefully um, it's kind of like a vlog or no, it's a, just a vlog that I'm going to just walk around a bit and show you um, the, the products and, and just get your, your feedback on it. I, I love makeup and I had so much of it. I had to give a lot of it away. And now I'm down to the things that I really do adore. And so excuse the um, well, I'm, I don't know why I say excuse me, because it's my life. It's my world. I live in one room and it's not a big space in that bathroom and it's dedicated to my makeup and um, hopefully you'll find it interesting. So come along and let's have a look at Margaret's makeup. Hi everyone. Well, often people ask me how I store my makeup and my jewelry. And as you know, I live in a very small space. I live in a one room house or one room apartment. And um, this is my little nook in the bathroom where I keep my necklaces and also my makeup. Now, I wanna show you this um, as best I can. This is it, this is where I store all my stuff. This is a very tiny room. And in the background, there is a fan that comes on automatically. I can't stop it. So um, we're gonna just do our best here to, <laughs> to share with you. So here's some, this is about a third of my jewelry, I think. I just put that on little hooks. And then, as you know, I've been doing um, makeup around the world features. And so I've gathered my little lists of um, little uh, containers of, as you can see, Poland, uh, Turkey, Italy. I've got RMS in one section myself and then uh, Essence products there. Then I've got on this side foundations and uh, some e.l.f. collection. I think that's about it, but uh, waiting for space. There's room there. But anyway, that's all the makeup that I've sort of collected um, uh, during these uh, videos on makeup around the world. But I recently took all my makeup and put it into these kinds of drawers and it's turned out to be the most amazing, um, uh, you know, benefit to finding things. But I'm going to open the drawers one at a time, and we're going to go through everything I've got in here. This is all my makeup. So this is the first drawer um, on the left. This is concealers and some eyeshadows. So of course, I've it goes like all the way back. These actually are really, really handy for um, uh, putting fairly like you know, not high products because it's amazing. So I've got my Essence um, uh, eyeshadow palettes. This is one Busy Art palette, which is my purple palette. I love it. On this side, I've got some um, Golden Rose eyeshadows. You've seen me apply these. These are my beautiful um, wet and dry. This is my, um, well, I've got one primer. <laughs> That's all I've got is the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. And then I've got, uh, this is the um, Maybelline 3-in-1. This is my favorite um, concealer to date, uh, Joa. There's two different colors, a light and a, um, a brightening and a, a sort of light. And then I've got two um, NYX serum concealers. And this one is the um, Maybelline Instant Rewind. So that is it. Now I'm working on another concealer that I'll be sharing with you um, hopefully shortly, but this is what I've got right now. That is drawer one. Okay, um, I've never done this before, by the way, so this is kind of new. Oh, in this, this drawer I have got, I've got my Natasha Denona um, eyeshadow palettes. I've got, I think there's Zendo, um, uh, there's Glam. Uh, mini, um, um, what is this one called? I'll, I'll put all the names below, but those are my Natasha Denona's four little four um, palette or uh, pan palettes. This is an RCMA um, cream. Well, it's cream blush, but it's also going to be used for lips. I keep this as a treasure. It's an old one, but I love it. These are my two um, Flower Beauty uh, shimmery uh, eyeshadows. And this is Desert Lights, which is gorgeous colors. And then there's another one, which is Jungle Lights. And I love these both. They're beautiful um, eyeshadows. They're sparkly, but I just adore them. And I and I don't have a lot of sparkle anymore. I've really cut down with my um, uh, my shadows recently. So these are what's this one? Oh, Catrice. Oh, excuse me, Essence. This is I've got two of these. Um, I don't know where the other one is, but this is Hello Berlin, and then I've got a Good A Sydney, which are just fantastic um, palettes. I could well I can show you, but I need to hold my camera here. And then I've got my Catrice Pro Nude. 
Next Gen Nudes. This one I've had for so many years, probably five years. This is a new one, but it's just a gorgeous palette for me. Catrice is a drugstore brand and it's just super cheap and cheerful, but I love it. It's one I've kept. This one is called Effect uh, Pure Passion. This one I purchased um, about two years ago. It's from Poland and it's just got the most gorgeous colors in it. I don't know whether I can actually open it to show you. It's hard to do this while I'm holding the phone, but um, it's got a black, it's got this beautiful um, peachy, I think it's called Sunset, and then Glamorous, it's gorgeous. You can see it's well used. It's got everything you need. I think if I was to honestly grab one palette in my collection, it might be this one, and there's another one called Coco by Zoeva. Those two, um, honestly, they've got everything that I could possibly need. Whoops. So there's a eyeshadow palette in this drawer here. And then I'll go down to the next drawer. I hope this isn't too boring. I'm kind of doing it almost for my own inventory here because, um, oh, I've got a brush in here. Oh, I know why. Um, this is honestly one of my very favorite larger palettes. It's Smoke and Roses. It's a ColourPop palette. Uh, eyeshadow palette and honestly it's hard to open these to show you but this is good there I lean them up um, it's got every color under the sun the little ones with the hearts are my favorites <laughs> but I love that particular palette this one is the low um, enduring love palette by Sydney Grace again one of my favorites beautiful palette and um, I don't use it quite as much as I used to you can see how I'm just showing you fresh from my drawer here they're all used really really well gorgeous palette. Uh, this is the G'day um, Sydney one. Essence. Uh, again, they did a whole series of these like travel um, palettes. And I've got this brush because um, I, there's a particular pa um, powder in the um, um, Love Enduring Love that I use as a, in a special way. And I need that particular brush. <laughs> what else have I got tucked away in here? Oh yes, this is, um, uh, this is That's Taupe. Another ColourPop, which I love, and Going Coconuts. Again, ColourPop. I really like ColourPop um, shadows, and the prices are wonderful. On this side, I've got a couple of little odd um, travel ones, which were BH Cosmetics, and this one is called Romantic Nomad, I think. Yeah, Romantic Nomad. And I just, oh, it's magnetic, so it's hard to open. But I really love this little palette. I just thought it was so sweet. Tiny, tiny little... Um, uh, pans, but um, that one I take on holidays when I go because it's got a bit of everything, and I'm kind of always experimenting. And this one here is called Twi uh, Golden Twilight, and this is the the colors for that. Which I, again, they're just really cool for just you know travel. And this one is called um, Be Sense Six Sense, and it's a purple palette. But um, that's another one from Poland. Okay, so I'm going to pop these back in. Really, really happy that I've done this organization though because it, it truly makes finding things and using things so so much easier let's put these back in okay we're halfway there almost I think but I want to keep going people have asked me for this all the time so I hope it's not too boring um, oh this is my lip um, column or lip drawer I've got um, my Mac lipsticks which I adore these are just solid solid colors I've got a whole shelf of other glosses and um, and fun uh, lipsticks, but these are um, two palettes by uh, Kaja. They're just a little stack. Uh, almost, I've almost made those into my own. I put new lipsticks in there, and these are my uh, lip liners. I got my Maybelline, Essence. I've got a Kiko's one, uh, Charlotte Tilbury. This is a cool one. This is um, oh, what's it called? Um, Buxom. Buxom is one of my favorite um, uh, eye liners or lip liners. And this is um, Stila, it's a little, little uh, cream lipstick, and I think that's it. But I do have a lot of other lipsticks just hidden away closer to me. And what have we got here in the bottom drawer? Oh yeah, foundations. Oh my gosh, I could go through this. I will go through it quickly because I know you've asked. So these are all the foundations that I use. I've got to be careful because it's heavy. Okay, at the very back, well actually that is um, same as this one, Max Factor. It's called, um, Ageless Elixir. If I, I have like three of these. It's, it's a beautiful um, a serum foundation. I adore it. This is my Radiant Cosmetics uh, serum foundation. Greek, Greek line. Uh, number seven, Lift and Illuminate. I adore Fenty uh, Eavesdrop is here. 
and also Art Deco. There's, and again, I can put the colors and stuff, but just wanted to share the, the brands. This is all the foundation I have, which I know it seems like a lot, but I do try to do a lot of videos. And um, this is RCMA. Here we have, oh yeah, these, these are my treasures. These are my two is Shiseido. One is the, um, uh, what's it, what's it called? Self reflect, reflect, refreshing. And this is the uh, lift, uh, lifting, natural lifting radiant, both Shiseido. Uh, Believe Beauty, <laughs> one of my favorites all time. And then I've got some of my L'Oreal products here. And I think this one is the nude, or is it the true match? That's the nude. This is a true match, and so is this one. There are different shades of true match. But those are all my foundations. And I don't think I'll ever need any more. I'm, you know, I, I think about Chanel, and I think about NARS, and all those expensive ones. But um, yeah, so it's a mix of drugstore and a high end, higher end. The, sh the Shiseido ones, for sure, were more expensive. I believe was, a, you know, $5. <laughs> I'm a little combination. Okay, let's keep going. I'm realizing this is already a 10 minute video, but we should, but we'll keep going. All right, so here we are in the top drawer of this side, and this is, I don't know, oh, eyes. So I've got uh, my Kiko Milano cream eyeshadows. This, actually there's two of these. This is the eyebrow gel that I love from MSM. Uh, it's fantastic. And I've got my wow brow from e.l.f. So brows and uh, some eyeshadow crayons. I've got this little selection of, um, I have to keep going back here. I've got my Mario, um, which is the um, cream eye prep and set, uh, which is a concealer, like an eye primer. This is just a combination. Oh, this one's, I don't have this snuck in here. This is um, Trini London. It's actually um, a cheek and, <laughs> cheek and lipstick. I should put that one somewhere else. But I love that. I, that's the one thing I have left from Trini. Um, these are some eyeshadows that I love. This is one from Kiko Milano. This is Auric. This was an expensive purchase. It's got cream on the bottom and powder on the top. And um, I do wear it. I do like the cream, but not as much as... Um, $45 worth of liking. This is, um, oh, this has got a star on it because it's one of my favorites. It's a it's a MAC uh, eyeshadow, which I totally love. I have the name of it. Let's have a look here. I should put all this in the section below because I just love this one. This is called Nude Model, and it's, it's one of my very favorites. And it actually started because I purchased this on a cruise. This I chose these colors, and um, it's so similar in many ways, but um, I've actually mentioned this one in videos before. It's just my little mini palette that I created with a, it's called, I think it's called Nearly Naked, and then there's a one that's called, uh, this is um, uh, Incinerate and Violet Star. They're just beautiful um, eyeshadows, and I will love them forever. What's at the back? Oh, these are, are the Armani. I've got some Armani uh, liquid um, shadows, which I don't know. I don't wear those very much. Uh, this section over here is my mascaras, and let's see, we've got, well, we've got Sky High. <laughs> we've got, oh, that's a, a gel for eyebrows. That should go down over here. Da, 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 move that there. And then we've got the Lash Paradise. Essence um, Lash Princess. This is a beautiful one from Cezanne, which is a Japanese brand. Super, super skinny um, wand. This is, um, oh, this is actually MSM Mascara. It's okay. Um, I don't use it as much as I do this one, which is my treasure, Rare Beauty. Really lovely uh, mascara. It's my favorite at the moment. I've mentioned it before, but those are all the eye products. Then we go down to, ah, blush, okay. <laughs> this is a really full one. Okay, well maybe I won't go to, through every single one of these. I'll just point out uh, some of the highlights. Okay, right at the very back, um, CoverGirl. Oh, can you see it there? CoverGirl in the back. Mil um, I've got Milani. I've got One Hourglass, which I do love. This is a Laura Mercier, um, beautiful pink cream. Uh, this is actually one I put this into another um, container. It's actually not Benicos. <clears throat> it's actually from Salt, and they do cream and highlight products, and that's what I've got inside of there. Do the back of that. Oh, I won't open it because honestly, there's so much in this little drawer. This is a really cool <clears throat> uh, blush. It's Juicy and Pang. Uh, it's a blusher from Korea, a, a liquid blush. Really, really pretty on the face, and I've got a Kaja stack here of. Um, blushes and there's a blush and a, 
Um, let's see, what is there? A blush, a, a bronzer, and a highlighter in that one. I'll put it over here. I'll put it back. Uh, let's see, we've got a, oh, this is a Stila, another version of that Stila. I have two of those, it looks like. And then this is my by Terry palette, face palette, which is gorgeous. This is the Flower Beauty Cream um, sh um, Cheap Blush, which is lovely. I have a little Milk Cream Blush, and this one is by Han. This is a beautiful color. It's called Hibiscus. I discovered it by chance, and it's a beautiful, beautiful um, lip and cheek product. And what else have we got here? Oh, yes, my Western, Western Atelier. These two I bought on a whim a while ago, and they are gorgeous. They are expensive, like $40, but they are very, very beautiful. Maybe I should do like a separate video, like on each of these categories at some point. So you can see. Oh, and then my Wet n Wild, I've got two blushes. This is Peach Bums, and this is um, a darker, I think it's called Trophy or something. I'll have to check the, the colors. This is such a beautiful highlight. It's actually meant to be a blush, but it's like a highlight. So that's that. That's the blush drawer. Then I've got this one, which is powders. And in here I have got, oh my goodness, so many cool things. I hope I can see them at the back there. Okay, let me pull this forward so you can see. Okay, I've got, um, I've got two, oh, these are two blushes by um, Charlotte Tilbury at the very back, the chic to, chic to cheek. But this is my Flower Beauty bronzer. Uh, it's, it's called Sunrise and it's absolutely beautiful. It's my only bronzer that I've got. This one is a Prep Set um, and Glow, which is a Milani blush, beautiful. And this is a lovely highlighter, it's by Catrice, and it's called um, More Than Glow Highlighter. Very, very nice, and I would highly recommend that. If you don't want such a bright uh, highlighter, this one is, oh, this is a little container I put my RCMA um, powder, just white powder in, um, it's just called What's it called? I'll leave the name. It's RCMA. They do a white powder. I put it in there to keep it accessible. Um, I've also got some eye products, Pixie uh, Self Corrector, and a glow product from Flower called Day Glow. This is really cool. And that's another little magic one that's from an unknown vendor. <laughs> it's, a, it's a highlighter and then the Dior powder. Oh, I do have the um, Charlotte Tilbury. Um, uh, bronzer which is very similar to the the flower beauty at, at a third of the this is the third of the price the flower one and the, uh sorry this flower one <laughs> and then i've got what is this oh it's a brush and that's it in the in the powder oh this one here um, pure beauty this one actually was a fun one it's um it's from a company called uh what is this one astra it's a uh, italian line and it's kind of um, one of those mosaic blushes it's really cool Let's see, the next drawer is, oh, almost empty. I've got two Pixie, um, two Pixie face palettes, which are lovely. Those I won't throw away. I've got one Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette that I really love and won't throw away. And then, oh, there's a Zoeva. There's a Zoeva eyeshadow palette there. I don't know how it snuck back there, but it's, um, this is one that I love. It's got some of my favorite colors in there. It's just little palettes. And then we'll get into the bottom here to the end, yes. So this is the last one. Oh yeah, this is my Naughty palette. This was a BH Cosmetics Christmas um, palette. And if I can open it up, I'll show it to you because it's just so pretty. I have to sneak it out here, okay. And that's in the bottom drawer of my last one, last shelf. And this is the color. <laughs> oh, it's so, so pretty. I, don't, I mean, I don't use them very much at all. I almost keep it like a paint palette. I just think it's so, so beautiful. So that's it. That is all of my makeup. I'm really glad I did this video. I hope that I have the courage to actually um, publish it because it's not something that I've done before and my fingernails are probably not beautifully manicured and it's all good. But um, this, I just want to put this back in here, is what I do. This is, this is my makeup from around the world. This is my makeup for my day to day. <laughs> And I love it. I'm actually very proud that uh, I was able to do this, um, you know, and organize all my makeup. I had uh, maybe three times as much, but now I'm down to the things I love and the necklaces that I adore and sharing with the people that I love. So I do hope that you've enjoyed this and um, we'll put it up and see what you think. But I'd love to know what you've got in your drawer of cosmetics as well and what your favorites are so I can maybe try them out too. Okay, everybody, take really good care.